door was blown into her. North Wales saw the Britannia Bridge to Anglesey closed to high-sided vehicles, yet despite the police presence, the warning was largely ignored. The harbour wall here at Hollyhead in Anglesey is only just managing to hold back the waves. The winds are gusting here up to 80 miles per hour, and forecasters say this is just a taste of what is to come. Especially the Devon and Cornwall Peninsula. There we're expecting the winds to gust at around 100 miles an hour. Now that is incredibly gusty. We are expecting structural damage. I'm sure trees will be uprooted, buildings will be damaged, and cars overturned. As the storm trekked across Britain, a young couple in Kent escaped after a tree crashed into their house. It was their new home. They'd only moved in today. Well, we were sat in the porchway and we heard a loud crack, and uh, then the next thing we know, we could see um, bits of the tree all around the window, and uh, it hit my car, and uh, all the glass that popped out of the windscreens all threw against all the window in the porchway. So it, um, we it's were... our first day in as well. Yeah. The southwest of England, also lashed by today's gales, is now on alert for a second and more fierce bout of storms. Adrian Britton, ITN, North Wales. The American round-the-world balloonist Steve Fawcett is tonight...